Despicable Me, was a great movie and the memes ruined it. What the title says. Because of all the minion memes Facebook tends to use, it gives the movie a bad name, and it deserves so much more than that. It has everything. Humor, a unique protagonist, good motives, great villain, good character arc and development, happy ending, great soundtrack, Despicable Me, deserves a lot more recognition than what it gets right now. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. My problem is that the minions are actually kinda clever and funny to me, but that's exactly what they are minions and that by making a whole movie out of them makes them redundant, annoying, and defeats the purpose of them. Yeah, the minions were a good addition to the movie and contributed to a lot of genuinely funny jokes. It's a shame they became almost entirely associated with a very specific brand of Facebook humor, because slapping their picture onto a vaguely snarky statement signified that it was a joke. The other day, someone was telling me how much they hate the obnoxious little yellow monster things that all the kids like. And I was like, well yeah, but Despicable Me was probably one of the best kids movies in recent years. Dot and they'd never heard of the actual original movie. The Minions shit ruined the whole franchise and overshadowed the actual movies. But I guess it was a quick cash grabbing way to sell some toys, so. Megamind had the same villain turned good plot that same year and DreamWorks pulled it off way better. I said this in another comment, but while this opinion is definitely popular on Reddit in 2020, look at the top comments, it wasn't a popular opinion at the time. I actually remember someone saying this at a party and most everyone disagreeing. While I like both films, I also disagree. I thought the Gru becomes a father to Margot, Edith, and Agnes plot, which leads to them becoming a loving family by the end of the film, which reforms Gru, was just better executed and pulled me in more than Megamind and Roxanne fall in love, which reforms Megamind. I liked it well enough but I thought Megamind was the more clever movie. Minion greater than the Minions IMHO. I absolutely agree. I get how some people prefer the foster children finding a home dynamic, maybe that hits home for them, but I really love Megamind. How they play with what makes someone a hero. You have a superhero that doesn't really care about the city, a supervillain that cares a lot for the city, and a true supervillain with a genius design. I've never seen a movie that made the incel, Coomer that can't face rejection the antagonist and I think the way they executed it was genius. Overall amazing movie that does a way better job at making the bad guy, the real good guy. I don't know, Megamind was completely overlooked in favor Despicable Me and it was only in recent years that it came to get the attention it deserved. At the time of the two movies releases Megamind was nowhere near the popularity of Despicable Me. Yes Megamind is the better movie but Despicable Me was much more prominent and well known. I watched this movie in the theater on a date because the guy wanted to take me to a more popular movie at the time that ended up being sold out and he was too lame to look into this in advance, NYC. Then we got food and I had to look at Pepper in his tooth. That is how I will remember this movie. He wasn't a bad guy. We didn't click, in general. I despise the memes but at the same time I love seeing them. The third Despicable Me movie was the last movie I watched with my father before he passed three years ago. He was 63 and hearing him laugh at a kid's movie like that was one of the best things ever. He really enjoyed the minions. So as much as I hate the memes, I like seeing the stupid little minions because they remind me of that day just watching movies with him and laughing. The first movie is great the next two not so much I do remember thinking the second film had a funny opening but the rest was pretty meh the third film, I think should have been so much funnier with Trey Parker as the villain. Yeah, my mom saw it years ago and recommended it saying it was ultimately, about the strength, resilience, vibrancy of little girls, or something to that effect, which sounds right up my alley so to speak, something I'd definitely love to watch, but to this day I haven't seen it because I was so put off by the, minion, memes and really the whole, minion, concept which I got the impression people identified with and latched onto for reasons that are particularly gross, irksome and repulsive to me, those, minions, from what I've gathered, just seem annoying and stupid and cringeworthy. A lot of that is probably overblown by the memes and so forth but idk, maybe the minions themselves are what ruined the movie. 
having characters like that? The minions were okayish. I'm not too fond of that franchise, but it has its moments when it's not trying to follow Shrek's fart jokes formula. I haven't watched Shrek in a while, and even then I switched the language to French so I wouldn't understand the fart jokes. It has its moments when it's not trying to follow Shrek's fart jokes formula. I haven't watched Shrek in a while, and even then I switched the language to French so I wouldn't understand the fart jokes. I assume you meant that it has its moments when it is trying to follow that formula? If so, gross, yeah, I'll pass then. I loathe toilet humor and the like, everything adjacent to it that's why I don't like the Shrek movies and franchise, one reason, so I suppose I made the right call in not seeing it. I believe I may have seen a trailer or ad for it that emphasized, showed off that sort of thing and was put off by that as well, minions aside. You should never let the memes for something, ruin it, for you. I love Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, especially Stardust Crusaders, which I think is one of the best arcs of any anime, and I don't care how much of has been turned into memes. I enjoy the Star Wars prequels and I don't care how much of them has been turned into memes. The memes and the films, series are different things. You should absolutely be able to watch the original product without the memes constantly jumping into your head. When I play Doom Eternal and Samuel Hayden says, the longer the icon of sin is on Earth, the stronger it becomes, or, you can't just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars, I don't think, uh I'm so tired of that joke, because I'm enjoying the game I only think about how old the jokes are when I actually see the jokes themselves. It's not just the memes. It's that they've put the damn minions everywhere. On products, seriously minion stickers on fucking bananas? Really, dole, in audio ads, visual ads, accessories, clothing, every fucking thing. Companies do this so much now that it turns me away from those movies completely. I had every intention of watching, Despicable Me, until Minions got shoved down my throat so far I choked. Same with Marvel, DC, Star Wars, anything they've made into a franchise. I cannot stand it. It's moments like this I'm glad I don't have kids. Why do you care about the memes? If you like the movie then just like the movie. Serial position effect. Initial and most recent assessments of an event make up the majority of how people have an impression of something or someone. In this case, while the initial assessment leaves a good taste on someone's mouth on a movie, Despicable Me being watched for the first time without any memes, it is equally balanced out by its negative recent assessments which leaves a bad taste, the minion memes ruining the movie's image. TLDR. It's biologically and human nature for a movie's reputational conscious assessment to be ruined by memes. It's possible to resist these thoughts, but it's normal for people not to be able to resist negative influencing of something they like, altering their overall impressions. Despicable Me fell victim to the too popular for its own good trap. Whenever something hits the mainstream, it attracts a bunch of annoying people, in this case, Facebook moms, and drives everyone else away. It didn't help that they made the minions into this commercialized nightmare. As a movie, though, I like it, it had a lot of funny and even heartwarming moments. Reminds me of Megamind. I agree. I think if we were talking lore-wise with its execution, Megamind still takes the cake out of the two. But for how both movies are released, I think they both deserve some praise for their moments because it's unique. I mean, the whole Minions trend was actually supported by Illumination Studios, those characters were created for it, to sell and give a marketing product for the film. The Lorax was the same, the animals from the movie were cute and made movie references were the brand for the movie. In all the recent, kids films, there is always that one character that was created to promote the movie, otherwise it fails. Personally it's the oversaturation of the minions. I get it, there are highly marketable and funny characters that got a few chuckles out of me from my first watchings when it first came one. However they have gotten out of hand to the point where it's not funny anymore. Now seeing these corn pops with goggles is a tad annoying. Come on, a sequel to that Minion spin-off movie that was pretty pointless to begin with. Besides the whole idea and appeal of the movie is the supervillain becoming a decent person and raising a family. Even though Megamind did it first of the whole villain redemption film. I have always found the idea of villain redemption to be interesting. 
it's actually kinda inspirational to see someone go to the side of the light and give up their bad deeds and redeem the mistakes they made in the past. That could have been the franchise. However the true villains are the Corn Pops minion as that's the franchise now. At least Megamind though a tad more obscure with a similar idea, it had less of an identity crisis. The benefits of only having one movie. It's an okay movie the problem I have with it is the same problem I have with every other Illumination movie it plays it all so safe, takes no risks whatsoever. Whenever I watch it in every scene I feel like there was an executive that went, oh people like X so do X, or whenever there's a great opportunity to raise the stakes, they don't. Even the villain vector is kinda half-assed, I mean sure he's entertaining but he isn't intimidating at all, he's just kinda, a bit of a jerk and that's it. So when he kidnaps the children it's not a big deal, he's not a character who would do anything horrible to them, rather than thinking, OMG he kidnapped the kids, Gru needs to save them. It's more of an, oh, okay I guess, I mean what was he going to do, actually kill them. He'd flake out and IDK just dump them on the street for Gru to pick them up or something. Also the world is established to be very cartoony so it doesn't feel like anyone is ever in any real danger, maybe an annoying inconvenience at best. Also the whole, Gru lied and has to give the kids back to the orphanage plot, Gru is a villain, he's okay with stealing stuff and breaking the law left and right but suddenly with this one thing he's a law-abiding citizen? WTF? It makes zero sense and again, no stakes, he could have just, told the orphanage to F off and keep them anyway. What are they gonna do call the cops? Dude's already wanted and he walks free so we can assume the cops couldn't do anything. Also, as much I I like Gru as a character, he's also a half-assed bad guy because he doesn't really follow through with, well truly bad things and that's the problem with the franchise, no stakes, the third movie was the best one because it had the most threatening villain emo. Overall I think the franchise is fun and entertaining to watch for what it is but it's just, so shallow, it's a shame they refuse to do give it more depth because I genuinely wanted to see Gru go through a genuine adventure with real stakes. What? You mean that memes done by thousands of random people on the internet is not representative of a story wrote by several professional story writers selected by one of the most experienced company in the world when it comes to humoristic cartoons? S why in the world would anyone think there's a correlation? Unpopular opinion. If the fan base of something ruins your enjoyment for that thing then you need to mature a bit because you're only depriving yourself of enjoyment and nothing more. It's absolutely bonkers the amount of times I'll see X got ruined by its fandom, or fans of X are cringy and embarrassing, as a reason to avoid something, didn't realize we're meant to enjoy things solely based on fan bases. The point is that with the first one Illumination still had to try. The next ones were coming out under a popular brand and were certain hits, so they ended up being significantly worse than the first one. But they still made all the money in the world, so Illumination can just pump them out until the end of time. Similar story with Shrek, except DreamWorks at least tried to have standards, and some of the sequels, 2 and 4, are pretty good. It wasn't the memes that gave it a bad name. It was the internet trolls. The movie is good. The minions are funny-ish but Gru is funnier. However, the movie Minions is kinda bad. It's not horrible because it helps Gru's backstory but the nonsensical language for most of the movie is just, nonsense. I grew up with this movie franchise. I was 7 when the first one came out, loved it to pieces, and 12 when the Minions one came out. I wished the franchise never existed. Sadly a movie that was one of my favorites became one of my least because of those damn Minions. They are nothing but a marketing tool. I used to think they were comedic genius but now I look at one and throw up in my mouth. The whole minion thing was pretty annoying. First film was decent, but not good enough to make me see any others. Gotta give you a downvote, this is as popular as popular opinions get. Multiple films, TV show s, merchandise out the ass, etc. The memes are the best thing about the movies. The minions were legitimately funny in the first movie. They may be Facebook cancer now, but before they were co-opted into trashy grandma memes they were genuinely hilarious. Not put them on a t-shirt funny, but definitely funny enough to pick Despicable Me if you're stuck watching something with a little kid. Every film Illumination has made is incredible. 
Not just the Despicable Me films, but Sing and the new Grinch film are also pretty good. People continue to bash Illumination for the use of their mascot, but they did nothing wrong. Steve Carell did an incredible voice acting job, too. His accent brought Gru to life. How did this even happen? It felt so unimaginable random, just all of the sudden the minions became the mascots of every anti-vax mom and flat earther on the internet. Reminds me a bit of this whole Pepe the Frog thing a few years ago, completely out of nowhere. First, Despicable Me, was a good movie, and memes did make the minions unbearable, but the sequels and spin-off were also awful. The biggest disappointment though emo was that the subversive masterpiece that was Megamind was unfairly criticized for being a rip-off of Despicable Me, while it was actually the film that was more deserving of a whole franchise. I think it's tainted because Illumination saw the cash cow and proceeded to make Minions the forefront of the franchise instead of one the funniest animated characters ever, Gru. And even then it felt like Gru kinda got Ned Flandered with his whole, incompetent, trait with every passing movie one was a masterpiece though. I think the Minions movie ruined the Despicable Me franchise personally, but hear me out on this one. We got the Gru memes, Boomers got the Minion memes. Maybe the Minion memes suck, but at least there's more people enjoying memes. Look at how happy they are posting Minions with unrelated text on Facebook. They a lil confused, but they got the spirit. I don't disagree with your opinion that, it isn't a bad, movie. I do, however disagree with all of your supporting points. There are humorous or funny moments of course but the development of the character is never fully hashed out, nor his relationships or motives. I think the score, music was a good fit for the movie but on its own isn't a, great soundtrack. As for the, unique protagonist, I should mention here that I'm piling on only to make this readable and to succinctly evoke my feelings toward this user's opinion, there are many films, books and shorts narrated from the supposed, villain's point of view, and while this was an excursion into unexplored territory for animated gadgets and gimmicks. To see more subscribe to my drinking too much channel. Minions were even funny in the movie. In fact both 1 and 2 are pretty good movies. The Facebook moms ruined Minions, but Steve Carell as Gru is pretty top-notch. Also the villain from the first one, Vector. Maybe? Been a while, is pretty great. I use the, oh yeah, gif of him quite a lot lol. Vector was basically the characterization of a millennial and I love it. Bowl cut, eating cookies and playing games at home, kooky ideas with no practical reason. Overlooked by the older adults despite his unique ideas and his downfall only came when he tried to copy someone else. I don't think the memes have ruined it. Then again I don't let anyone anywhere influence how I feel about a movie. For instance I for one love The Last Airbender. But anyone else would just talk shit about it until they are blue in the face. Sorry, you don't get to tell me what movies are good or not. Also it seems like reviews are just always off. If people or reviews tell me a movie is bad I usually like to give it a chance cause they are often just wrong. Same can be said for movies they say are good. It's a good story, however I'm not a fan of the minions themselves. An evil man turned good after adopting children. Great concept, but having little yellow gremlins running around screaming banana. Wacky random chodic is haha funny haha. It's like a cake, but instead of enjoying it you take a big yellow meth addict shit on top and serve it. I think that production studio is generally lazy and their quality has significantly dropped with each subsequent Despicable Me franchise film. The first was the best and I genuinely believe the memes only heighten it and distract me from the fact that it is responsible for birthing minions which is an irredeemable crime worthy of death, emo. I find most of these animated films to suck. The films I watched as a kid were great but aside from Toy Story most of these newer animated movies are terrible. There isn't really anything in there to stimulate your mind, and it's almost non-stop chaos which is very mentally draining because it's stressful, and it gets old after a while. Maybe it's just me but they wear me out, very little dialogue or backstory to the characters. The thing is, Despicable Me was back when DreamWorks still had to try. Modern animation companies like Disney, DreamWorks and Pixar make standard movies, and they sell well. 
The only time they release good movies is when those movies are driven by creative, passionate creators like Coco. Coco was made by a person who had a story, and stoked at nothing to tell it. Compare that to Brave, an alright movie, but the people who made it didn't have much of a story to tell, they saw that there wasn't a Scottish Prince's movie yet, and decided to make something to fill that space. The motherly love theme is kinda basic, the bear plot is kinda funny at times, but has been done before, a pretty similar concept was the Emperor's new groove, with a royal person severely being turned into an animal, and Meredith as a generic feminist princess. There's nothing wrong with Meredith, but there are other characters that do what she did, but better. The most notable thing about Meredith is that she's a ginger, who isn't an asshole, which is a smaller minority in animated films than it should be. Well although most people I've seen outside of YouTube, do like it, I suppose you searched for it and found just hate, which is understandable I guess. Personally I am good with just the first movie, I guess the second is okay but I like to think nothing ever happened after the first. I was in fact re-watching a bit, and even though it's just known for a meme now, the piggy bank scene does really feel emotional, at least for me. You able to use a comma twice in this post, which indicates it's not broken. Yet you completely ignore them when listing traits. Instead of using commas, you instead use capital letters, without including periods either. It's like you copy-pasted that section and didn't bother formatting it properly. I watched it for the first time recently, but I've seen the memes many times here before. Memes didn't ruin it at all for me. I enjoyed the movie thoroughly. I don't understand why the memes would have any impact on the enjoyment of the movie. I disagree, so I guess this is an unpopular opinion. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And if you are new, subscribe and click on the bell icon.